All right, uh, my name is uh, Philip DiMello, and today I'm going to talk about the so-called Russian math approach. And I'll show you how this Russian math approach works on a few examples. But before, I want to say that the Russian math approach is based on uh, uh, development in students, uh, a way of thinking, a way of building abstract models, reasoning, and to find optimal solutions to different mathematical problems that can be solved in many areas of uh, science, technology, and life. Okay, so let us consider this first example. You see, it is very scary equation because it has many, actually infinite number of radicals. There are infinite number of radicals. And uh, when we see uh, this kind of equation, what we have in mind, we have in mind just to raise, to get rid of them by raising the right-hand side and the left-hand side equation to some powers, okay? And you can see right away that this method here that we uh, learn at school does not work. Why? It's very simple. Because if we take uh, the uh, raise the right hand side of the equation into power 50, we have an enormously big number. This doesn't help with the left hand side because infinite number of radicals here and infinity minus 50 will have still infinity. So it doesn't help us a lot and students here get frustrated. They don't know what to do. Now, we'll show how with the use of Russian math approach, you can solve this equation and we'll see how simple it is. Okay, so first of all, we need to build, as I said before, we need to build an abstract structure. So it can be just a building with infinite number of levels, okay? And we prescribe X to the first level, then the second level will be x multiplied by square root of x, and the third will be uh, this second level multiplied by x to the power 1, 4, and we go, we move uh, up and up and up and up, and finally we see here that we have uh, this expression, yes? That is, uh, characterizes, this expression characterizes our uh, multi-level building, actually with infinite number of levels. Okay, now the situation is very simple. Since we found this uh, kind of relation between levels, uh, the situation becomes very simple because we know that if we multiply powers with the same base, our base, base is here, x, okay? We just need to add to sum up exponents. So exponents here is one, one over two, one over four, and so forth. And we see right away that this term represents just geometric series with the, uh, common ratio 1 over 2, okay? And we know that the sum of this infinite series will be first term, which is 1, divided by 1 minus the common ratio, which is 1 over 2. So we have here equals 2. So we have that this expression is just 2, okay? And we have that using this approach, reasoning, and the ability to build an abstract model, we found that this is very scary nonlinear equation x multiplied by square root of x, and here is square root of x, and so forth. It comes right with this very simple expression, x squared equals 4. And from here, we just 
suppose that x is positive x greater than 0, we have only one solution, x equals 2. So this is very scary equation, has a very simple solution, x equals 2, that we got in a very easy way. Because if we use a conventional approach trying to get rid of radicals, we can engage maybe infinite number of computers and they work they will work 100 years trying to get rid of infinite radicals and they will never come to any solution. Using this kind of uh, uh, reasoning based on an abstract model, we solved this equation almost instantly.